Yo, hey guys, welcome back to It's It Sports. Thank you for stopping by for another video. And yes, today is 1st of April, but I'm not making April Fools. Grow up, guys, grow up. It's uh, too old now. Now, let's talk about a big uh, transfer news happening. There are a lot of news. Uh, the Rowling Borges deal, I think I left out from last video. I'll just speak about it in this. But the main thing of focus is the fines that AIFF have put on Ivan and on Kerala Blasters for their walkout, uh, you know, against... Uh, in Bengaluru, I think everyone knows that it was the biggest event in ISL history, I would say, most controversial. I think more controversial than Steven Mendoza's handball in the finals against FC Goa. Yeah, you can debate that in the comments down below. But before I go to the video, guys, new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to come in contact with me, follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description below. One more thing to note, uh, I won't be available on HZ Sports official Instagram account for the moment. I'll be only on my, my personal Instagram, that guy over 961. So if you want to message me anything, video recommendations, podcasts, whatever, in that, okay? So do drop me a follow. Now let's talk about the big, big news. So there are two fights that are put, separate ones each. One is on Kevla Blasters and one is on Ivan. Now the one on Ivan is, yeah, I would say it's a serious one because like, you know, uh, this is not actually a big fine that they have put on Ivan. Like, I, I understand if it was a serious one and in which, like, his job wasn't going or he would be banned from the league. Yeah. But he's given quite just, I think he's given just a 10 match ban, which is a very small, uh, fine, according to me. Now, 10 match ban and a fine of rupees 5 lakhs. Now, no offense, that is useless. Okay, no matter what people say about the 10 match ban, it is completely garbage. First of all, 5 lakhs, that is pocket change for him. I think Kerala Blasters fans himself, themselves will open a GoFundMe page or on Keto or whatever they uh, do fundraising and release 5 lakhs for him. No big deal. But a 10 match ban, are you serious? See, first of all, this is not only 10 match ban for ISL related, okay? It includes uh, the Super Cup, Durand Cup, any tournament uh, that is there in the Indian football calendar that his club will take part in. Mind you, friendlies are not considered. Otherwise, I want to just play 10 friendlies with some local higher secondary school in Kavala and, uh, you know, get his ban out. So the Super Cup is included and the uh, Durand Cup. Now let's talk. Super Cup. Uh, three matches, I believe. So you play there in the Super Cup. Yeah, no, there's three matches. So there goes. And then the Durand Cup, another three matches. Uh, six go. Uh, three, four, whatever. So let's say, I think seven matches will go easily there. And then last remaining three matches, three matches of ISL, not a big deal. Now, if that was a fight for only three ISL matches, I would have understood. It would make some sense, okay? If it was only for three ISL matches. Yeah, okay, I can get you. Uh, I mean, for 10 ISL matches, that would be a harsh fine. But it he can just manipulate and make it just to three ISL matches, which is very easy for him. Mind you, if Kerala Blasters end up in the next stage, the number of, uh, you know, find the number of matches banned for ISL itself will get low to two or one match. Okay. And this is not a big deal. Let's agree. Kerala Blasters were never hopeful to win the Super Cup, neither the Duran Cup. So it's not a big bang for their next season's uh, trophy performance. Normally, they send their under 21 anyway for the Duran Cup. They send their results. So it really doesn't matter. So yeah, it's a very uh, useless fine, I would say, for Ivan. As for Kerala Blasters, I think this would be a little bit of a pinch for Kerala Blasters because the AIF Disciplinary Committee has given them a full covered uh, fine, which I think is actually a be better fine. Uh, of course, doesn't do a huge deal impact on Kerala Blasters because Kerala Blasters are not going to pay directly. They are going to play in somewhat installments, which I think is a fair thing for them considering if... ISL gets shifted from Star Sports to a different uh, broadcasting place like in Geo Cinema and all. They'll end up earning more from advertisement revenue uh, for match uh, for match TV telecasting. They'll earn more money. So I think that's a win situation for Kerala Blasters there overall. But uh, yeah, four covers fine. Uh, it it is a kind of a pinch for Kerala Blasters overall. But I think uh, considering they have the biggest fan base, they sell a lot of merchandise, ticket sales and all. I think this four covers is kind of nothing. Also, I think they had uh, got some money back from Kagra's in Javi or Sandesh Jingal. I can't remember that time at the start of the season because that particular player got injured while playing for the national team. So they got some money back. I think it was... Uh, Cabra. So I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments down below. So I think it's not a big deal for Kerala Blasters overall. Now this is kind of great when said Kerala Blasters themselves are 
kind of financially stable for the moment so taking this as a small pinch won't happen i think if the ban was put more on ivan for the isl season maybe even seven match ban in the isl season itself only i think that would be a bigger pinch overall for the kerala blasters you know i think that would make a more but yeah fair play of course they can go to court and talk about this but first of all kerala blasters um, you know ivan will have to consider going there because if the court case goes for longer and his match ban gets over i don't know what's going to happen so yeah now talking about another big deal and that is rowling watch is joining fc goa i didn't include it in last video because when i uploaded that video i think just when i was editing the video and i uploaded it uh that time just the news broke so could i put it there but uh, what are my thoughts on rowling watch is joining uh, fc goa i would say it's a fair deal for rowling watch is it's not that nothing personal i love him as a mumbai city player but he is kind of you know i can see him losing uh, his uh, foothold in the club his position in the club especially after that huge injury that he had he couldn't play many matches i feel sorry for him because of that um, injuries are a sad thing it infected him for two complete seasons almost and uh, you know i feel you once again you can understand from my point of view what i'm saying like he couldn't play in the matches uh, he lost his position to apuya vinith rai and with other new players coming in mumbai city will of course get some new signings uh, i can see why he would want some more game time and considering fc goa are kind of in their reform time means they are in their changes they are trying to get new players i think they are uh, they and bangalore i involved in the most transfers this transfer window Yeah, fair play to them. Great job by FC Goa overall. It's kind of a good deal, I can say. Uh, him joining uh, FC Goa because he'll get quite a game time plus the experience that he has had with playing with Mumbai City overall. He can transfer that to FC Goa. This looks kind of a little change, you know, because once upon a time Mumbai City used to take FC Goa players, now FC Goa are taking Mumbai players. The only difference is we would took their best players and they are taking our leftover players. Fine, fair deal for them. And overall, I feel uh, all the best for Rahul Imbaji. It's sad that uh, Rahul Imbaji's Rania Fernandez, these two players who were there before the takeover, City Football Group takeover, are also officially gone now. And I think most of uh, Mumbai City's players who were there before the takeover are officially gone. Most of them, I think, Bipin Singh is the only one who still survived. Yeah, there are very few players who have survived before the takeover and are still there. So you can see the changes that are happening to the club. It's a good thing in my point of view, but. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to miss Rowling Borges overall. There are still a lot of transfers news that are coming up in the transfer market that you and I will co cover in the future videos. Of course, I can't cover everything, but I think this is the biggest deal yet. Uh, as for foreign signings, they will happen uh, another time. Okay, about foreign signings also, North East United have completed their ten foreign signing uh, of the season. It's uh, some Turkmenis Turkmenistan, I think so, Tajikistan defender. I don't remember his name. Doesn't have a market value or transfer market. So yeah. Global good signing, I think so. He's just going to be there for the Super Cup, nothing more. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video once again. Do like, share, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts about this in the comments down below, and see you soon in more videos. Goodbye. Take care. Stay safe.